New Year's has come and gone, which means many people are trying to figure out what they want their New Year's resolution to be. Many people choose to be more organized, work harder, or save more money, but a majority of people want to get in shape, lose weight, or simply just live healthier. And the easiest way to do that is by eating right. Now, eating right isn't about just eating extra fruits and vegetables. It's about eating a well-balanced diet, which comes from eating well-balanced meals throughout the day. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you today, along with how to read labels and shop for the right foods, how prepping can be beneficial, and then the overall benefits of eating a balanced diet. To be able to prepare good foods, you need to have the resources to do so, which is why I'm going to show you how to shop for the right foods. Shopping for the right foods can be uh, difficult because of the way things are labeled. It's easy to tell that fruits and vegetables are healthy, but other things not so much because markets label their companies label their products to look nice and healthy, but in reality, they're full of bad macros and have bad uh, amounts of calories. When the main macros are fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, which is what you want to look for um, when you're reading a label. For example, this would be a healthy label because it's low in fat, which is something that you want to keep to a minimum. It's high in protein, which is good for people wanting to cut weight. And overall, it has um, few carbs. Overall, those are the three main things you want to look at when reading a label. Uh, now that we have learned how to shop for the right foods, um, let's put together or talk about a meal that you could use that is that has the right amount of macros and is balanced. So the easiest way to do so is to get a meal prep container such as this one. Um, it makes it easier to be able to eat in proportion as well as um, prep a week's worth of meals, which gives you zero excuses as to why you're not eating right. This main compartment is where you want to put your protein. A good uh, source of protein would be chicken. Um, a serving size of that would be about three ounces or the size of your fist. And then these other two compartments um, each hold a serving of vegetables and a serving of fruit. And a good example of those would just be like carrots and um, grapes. You also want to make sure you have a grain and preferably something that's whole grain. And so you could put um, about half a serving of brown rice would fit in the same compartment as your protein. Um, one thing that many people skip out on is the dairy and an easy way to uh, entice dairy into your diet is just drink a glass of skim milk because it's low in fat but still gives you the nutrients you need. So to recap, a meal like that would um, have a total of 3 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. Now that you know how to shop and create a well-balanced diet, let's talk about how it can be beneficial. According to NHS Informs, eating healthy uh, will increase your energy levels by a lot, which is good for growing teenagers, athletes, and really anyone because it'll help you feel more motivated. It also makes it easier to manage weight, which is important in a society where 40% of the people are obese, 20% of them being children. The last benefit I want to talk to you is about how it can help prevent diseases such as diabetes and heart or and cancers. It also lowers your blood pressure and uh, your blood pressure and cholesterol, which lowers your risk of getting heart disease or any other cardiovascular issues. As I conclude here today, let's recap on what I demonstrated for you. We sh I showed you how to read a label and shop for the right foods, how prepping a meal can make it easier and how it is beneficial. I hope I have made it easier for you to be able to uh, locate and eat the right foods as well as stick to your New Year's resolution. Thank you.